wet out there tonight, though. Yeah, yeah, it is a little wet. And it looks like, though, your Friday and weekend actually is going to be salvaged. I think we're going to be fine. Just a little cooler across the area. Temperatures have been rising here throughout the evening into the mid 50s for many areas. But you can see the rain continues to spread its way across the region. There are some holes in there. So, not a solid shield of rain. But uh, we're going to continue to see this off and on here through the next, I'd say, two to three hours or so. Should begin to taper off, I'd say, about two or three o'clock in the morning. So there's more moisture off to our south and west that we're going to have to contend with. But you can kind of see it here, making its way northward. We first saw it start, start pushing into the region after about nine to ten o'clock, and then we're continuing to see these off and on showers. Notice it extends all the way down into central Virginia. So all of this moisture has yet to travel northward. So it's going to be raining for a little while. But as I mentioned, we do expect to begin tapering off here later on tonight. You can see how uh, future cast this model updates every hour, so it gives a good idea, a projection of what to expect. And notice how the, the coverage becomes a little bit more spotty here later on tonight. So this is about 3 o'clock in the morning. By 6 o'clock in the morning, still cloudy, still perhaps a stray shower or two. By the way, Western Maryland dealing with snow, and they're likely going to be dealing with that uh, all the way through the day tomorrow into tomorrow night. But we're going to continue to clear out as the afternoon goes on. We're expecting uh, sunshine to build back in, and temperatures will actually fall as the day goes on. Take a look at temperatures across the area. Moncton right now at 49 degrees. Over on the eastern shore, we're looking at readings at Greensboro. Look at Federalsburg, 61 degrees currently. Same thing uh, for... Uh, uh, St. Michael's at about 58 degrees there. Anne Arundel County, we're looking at temperatures into the 40s and 50s and out west towards Mount Airy, about 49 degrees. So we'll be right around 50 in the morning. Temperatures, though, once the front moves through, will start to drop off. We're expecting that west northwest wind to kick in through the afternoon and it'll gust over 20 miles an hour at times. You can see the area of low pressure pulling away from the region. So once the front clears our area, we should begin to dry out. Here's your forecasting into the weekend. So the front bypasses the area will clear out Saturday and Sunday right now, looking cooler, but with a mixture of cloud and sunshine with highs in the 40s here for both uh, Saturday and Sunday afternoon. Here's your Friday, starting off around 50 in the morning. Temperatures gradually taper off, though, and get cooler as the day goes on. Here's your first third seven day forecast 50 for tomorrow, chance for a shower two in the morning. Partly cloudy skies expected on Saturday, 42, but notice lows at night dropping back into the 20s, and then we'll warm right back up into the 50s for next week. Martin Luther King Day right now looking fine and also looking dry for next Wednesday, but we do have some more chances for rain coming in Tuesday and Thursday of next week. You know what? That's okay. These temperatures this time of the year, as you know, it's great. Yeah, and it's going to stick around through the end of the month. Yeah, that's a major yeah. plus. Derek, good stuff. You Thank you. All right, for more first alert weather and updated news, you can check in with Cena Gabber Ab, Tim Williams, and meteorologist Abigail Degler tomorrow morning on WJZ. That is starting at 4.30 a.m. We've talked sports a lot tonight.